Good morning, everyone. So, uh, in two weeks we have the Spanish F3A National Championship. It is probably the most important event of F3A in my country because it defines the, the national team that will represent our country in the next European or World Championship. And here we are with my father practicing intensively. Um, we have a beautiful day, it's, it's amazing. The weather is incredible here in Berka. And yeah, this year the National Spanish Championship will be held in Granada. Granada is in the southern Spain. Beautiful city, but during summer it can be really, really hot. In this video I'm gonna show you how I keep track of the temperatures of my motor in real time. I always wanted to have some kind of sensor to measure the temperature in real time during my flights and here is the SBS 01T from Futaba, it's not a very new product but uh, for some reason I've never used it before and, and yeah, now that we are facing this competition in southern Spain where the temperatures will be crazy, uh, I think that it's cool, it's very interesting and it's necessary, absolutely not. I'm, I'm sure the system will handle it very well. Uh, we test it already with very hot temperatures in Spain, in Barcelona. But you know, it's, it's cool, it's interesting. And if you're a little bit nerd like, like I am with all these things, to have all the information available and everything, I think that uh, it's a very cool feature, it's a very cool sensor and it's not very expensive. The sensor I'm using is the SBS 01TE. It's made for electric components with a very reasonable range of temperatures. It's from 0 to 125 degrees Celsius. It's not very expensive, it costs around 45 euros and it's light, it's super easy to install and super easy to set up with uh, Futaba transmitters. So until now we have used uh, temperature guns to measure all our electric components after the flight but with this sensor what you can do is have like real-time data information on display or with the, with the boys or with the speaker of your transmitter to hear what is the temperature at any time of the flight and also set some limitations in case you go above or below them so to receive an alert, a warning or some kind of vibration on your transmitter to let you know that for some reason your motor is above or below this limitation. So I think that it's a safety feature, it's very nice. It's not a very new component, I'm not sure when this thing was released, but uh, as I said, I don't know why I was not using it because I love to, to know, you know, to have all the information about the system and, and it's very cool. And how to install it is very simple. You have to throw a SBUS cable from the receiver to the motor. You can see it here. Here goes the cable and then you have to put the sensor or the, the pad that is that you want to measure the temperature touching wherever you want to measure, right? So in this case you can put it on the fixed part of your outrunner or if not as we did we just uh, put it uh, on the closest point to the motor touching the cables of the motor. There you will have like a quite nice measurement, easy, super safe because it cannot, you know, fly away or something and make sure that you don't attach it on the part that is rotating all the time. And if I want to see my temperature all the time, I just need to click here. Temperature. So, as I said, you can choose whether you use a switch to know the temperature at that particular moment or set it up to hear the temperature ever a certain period of time. The system has almost a zero delay, it's very very fast 
And just as a reference, the temperature that you can see on display, it's normally like 5 to 10 degrees higher than the rotor part, where we normally measure the temperature of our system. So overall, very nice sensor from Futaba, easy to install, easy to use, it works very well and, and I think that it's, it's good for keeping control of the health of your system, so I will continue using it because yeah, I like it.